everybody. So today I am going to do a mini Ulta haul. Uh, went to Ulta this morning and got a few things that I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, also, hooray for my new camera. I know it hopefully looks so much better. I know my old one was awful, but I appreciate you bearing with me anyway and watching my other videos, even though the quality is not that great. So I'm really glad I got my new camera and I think it looks so much better. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's not the best camera in the world, but it's definitely uh, an improvement on my other one. So anyway, a couple of things I picked up. Um, the first thing is the Tarte Tartist um, clay paint liner. It comes with a brush. The packaging looks like this. I'm really excited to try this one out. I've heard some pretty good things about it. Uh, I'm just going to open it here. So it does come with a brush. Uh, it looks like this. It's an angled brush. Ooh, the tip is pretty fine point as well. So pretty good. So I think that's going to be a good brush. And then the eyeliner comes in a tube like this. And I got black. And I guess what you're supposed to do is squeeze a little bit out. And what I've seen is people um, just kind of dipping it in like this or even squeezing a bit on your hand. Or if you have something else that you use um, for like foundation or something like a palette top or something like that people will squeeze it onto that and then just dip it in and put it on i'm really excited to try this tomorrow um i would think that this would last pretty long time um like it won't dry out because it's in the tube i'm hoping anyway so yeah i'm really excited to try that and I will do a demo on it as well and a review and see if I like it. I'm really excited to try that one out. The next thing I got was the, oh, and this was $24, I want to say. I think this was $24. Um, the next thing I got was the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. The packaging looks like this. I got color 1.0. It's supposed to be a 15 hour wear hydrating foundation that's oil free and I've heard that it does also last a long time. I'm hoping I'm still kind of on the fence um, if I like the Amazonian clay foundation by Tarte that I just bought which I do have on right now. It looks fantastic when you put it on but for me as the day goes on I start to look really shiny and even when I powder it doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference. It's really bizarre. It feels really good on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm really wearing anything, but I just look really, really shiny, even with a primer. So I'm on the fence on that one. So I haven't returned it yet. I figured I'm going to try this one and see if I like it. Um, it's the Studio Skin, and it's supposed to, I guess, look the same in any light. So whether if you're inside or like flash photography or you're in natural light, it's supposed to all uh, look the same. So we shall see. I will be trying that one out, and I'll probably do a video on it as well and um, a review and see, let you guys know what I think. Um, the other one I've been dying to try is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which more than likely I will be trying that one as well because I've heard fantastic things about it. But I did watch a few videos on this this morning and um, people did really seem to like it. So we shall see. Now the next thing I bought I am really excited about. It's the Tarte High Performance Naturals um, Paint Palette collector set and it looks so pretty the pa I love the packaging um, it's the holiday um, 2016 edition and it retails the I paid $49 on it, it says it's a $381 retail value so we shall see so yeah let's open this up I'm excited about this one I don't want to rip the packaging because it's actually really pretty. Ooh, this looks really nice. This is really pretty. So this is the packaging. It's almost like a cloth kind of feeling packaging. And it has a little tart emblem right here. 
Ooh, it's got a really nice mirror to it. So there's all the eyeshadows in the mirror. And then it's got a little drawer on the side. Oh, this is really, really nice. So drawer on the side here, and it's got an eyeshadow brush, I think a mascara, and a lip gloss here. And it's nice, it does have a piece of plastic that covers um, the eyeshadows, which is really nice. I'm not sticking my fingers in there. And then there's this little thing, which, oh, okay, so this is the um, contour and highlight. Um, and then a, looks like a blush there. Looks like that. The highlight looks a lot darker on the camera than it is. It's not quite that dark. But that's really pretty. Excited to try that. Doesn't say what the colors are. And then the eyeshadows are just really kind of neutral. It's kind of some pink tones. Uh, and it's got a mixture of, um, it looks like matte and um, shimmers in it, which is really nice. Some neutrals and kind of like a maroon color. And some dark purples. I think I'm really going to like this palette. So anyway, let's see if I'm going to get a close up on the colors there. I will do um, some swatches and kind of a full review on this after I get a chance to use it and let you know what I think. The lip gloss is kind of just a little mini like this. But it looks really pretty. Um... It says glossy lip paint. And I don't know what the color, it doesn't say the color, but then it's just got a little applicator like this. So, yeah. So anyway, I would definitely be trying this out. I was really excited. I actually wanted to get the, con the Tarte Contour Kit, but they are all out, unfortunately. Um... They said they're getting a shipment tomorrow, so I may call and see if they actually get it. Um, or I may just try the Kat Von D contour palette, which I've been really wanting to try anyway. But I have heard, heard some really good things about the Tarte contour palette. And it is nice because it comes with a blush. However, this little holiday kit I got did come with that contour and highlight and a blush. So I may not need it. I may just try to give these a shot and see if I like it um, but the contour kit had some matte um, highlighter colors too like the under the eye brightener and uh, a couple different kinds of highlighters so I was really looking forward to trying that out um, also there's a brush in this little kit just kind of a fluffy brush kind of reminds me of the brush that came in the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Renaissance palette just looks like this and it's pink and gold but it is a cute little brush um so like a little fluffy kind of blending brush brushes that usually come in these sorts of kits aren't the best quality but we'll give it a shot and hey it's a free brush so whatever anyway that's what i got today um i will like i said i'll be um, giving those a shot and, and doing a review and let you guys know what I thought, but I am really excited. This Tarte palette, I just love the packaging. It feels really nice, and it's super, super cute. I even want to sit this on my desk or something. It's so cute. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, this was just a really on-the-fly short video. I wanted to also try my camera out, so I'm hoping that that's a lot better. But yeah, so that's it for today. I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more videos. And anyway, thanks so much. You can see Cameron over here giving a thumbs up. Um, yes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.